We're here with week five of the 2015 season where Tennessee Titans are playing home against the Buffalo Bills in the new coach Rex Ryan. As you see here, here are some stats for Tennessee Titans. Eight passing touchdowns, 14 catches on the season for Delaney Walker, the newly acquired transition tight end. 304 rushing yards on the ground out of four games, as average of about 75 plus yards, and a keen mix with 10 catches on the season so far. And let's get into the action as the game starts up here. Brought to you by the NFL Network in EA Sports. And as you see, Marcus Mariota, 69 of 98, 934 yards, 8 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions. A very close stats for EJ Manuel, 73 of 117, 8 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions as well. As you see here, the game is beginning to start up, and we're here in Nashville, Tennessee at Nissan Stadium, where the Buffalo Bills are coming to play the Tennessee Titans. As you see, both sidelines are getting ready for the action. Colt McCoy, the newly transition, transaction running back, will be a focus for this defense. Rex Ryan as well, a great, great coach coming with a lot of passion, a lot of transition for this Buffalo Bills. And the kick is up, and Tennessee is going to get the kick to begin the game. And from the end zone to about the 22 is going to be Wooten. As you see here, Marcus Mariota, the rookie quarterback out of Oregon, and stats on the year. Coming out with shotgun formation and a handoff right away for Sankey, who's going to be taken down immediately for a two-yard loss. Stephen's going to be tough to break through. Eye formation, a play action. Mariota drops back and a flag on the play and sacked is going to be Mariota. Looks like Tyler Lewan got beat on that play or maybe Velasco holding on the offense. And, of course, they're trying to fight his argument is Velasco, but the penalty is going to be declined, bringing up a third and 19, two straight plays with negative results. Three wide set. Mariota drops back and fires to the right side and gets his man, Harry Douglas, who seems to always get Mariota out of a little bit of trouble. I formation right up the gut is Sankey for about a five yard gain, or excuse me, a three yard gain. Just following blocks and finding the hole where it is. This defense is going to be tough to get through, though. On third and five, tight end set right. Sankey set right. Mariota in the backfield. Back to pass and over the middle to Delaney Walker. His first reception on the play, or on the game, excuse me. A trap up the middle, spin around and taken down is going to be Sankey. A two tight end set right. Ace formation, play action by Mariota. Slings it to a wide open Delaney Walker who travels up the sideline for about 18 yards, or excuse me, 25 yards. Empty backfield for Mariota. Dime package for the defense to counterbalance this five wide attack. And on the play is a flag. A looks like the offensive lineman jumps. False start on the offensive line. So that's going to bring us back five more yards for the 20. Marietta drops back. Rolls right. Doesn't find anyone open. Decides to take off with it and fumbled out of bounds. But... No worries, he gets five yards on the play. Two wide receivers set right, eye formation. And the handoff for Sankey, take, or excuse me, McCluster this time, who's going to take it right side and take it down for a loss as well. Three yard loss for McCluster. Ace formation, tight end set right. Man in motion, and... Marietta drops back and over to the left side for the drag route is Kendall Wright getting just enough separation to get the seven yard gain. But on fourth and five, McAdams elects to take the field goal to end the lead. Three nothing, Tennessee Titans. 
as you guys can see, a very, very close stats for EJ Manuel and Marcus Mariota. But on ace formation, a bunch set left for the Bills. And a toss out left. And my goodness, look at that block. Finally taken out of bounds at the 25. Tackled by Huff. Balance formation, two tight ends set. And the handoff right up the middle for McCoy gets past a second line of defense to the third level in a nine-yard gain. Blitz coming in, and E.J. Manuel over the middle to his tight end, Clay, a newly acquired from the Dolphins, and he makes his first reception of the game. It looks to see like more and more importance is being fed on the tight ends who are able to receive. So on second and six, two tight ends set right, strong right formation, and a counter for McCoy. My goodness, look at these holes open up. You could fit a semi through them, and McCoy gets about 18 on the play. Pistol formation, and the handoff up the middle for McCoy is just pushing through these defenders, refusing to go down, and they gain a gain of three yards. As you see there, Williams or Woodyard and Morgan on the tackle, but he just fights through trying to get more and more yards. Bunch set left, shotgun formation. McCoy offsets the left side. Ooh, and it looks like there's going to be a flag on the play. And it's going to be another false start for this offensive line. Both offensive lines struggling early in this game. Third and 10 from the 13. Trip set right. Back to pass, and over to the middle is going to be, I believe, Woods with his reception to the seven. But on fourth and four, Coach Rex Ryan elects to take the field goal, and the kick is up and good. Quick chip shot for the kicker, and it's going to get a tied game. Bunch set, ace formation right side, and tripped up is going to be Sankey, but he had room. Who knows what would have happened if he would have kept his feet. Mariota drops back and over to the left side is going to be a tough catch by Walker, but not enough for the first down, bringing up a third and five. Drop back to set, set, screen set up right side. Screen set up, cut inside, cut outside. Oh my goodness, look at that. From the 30 to about the 20 yard line, finally pushed out by Gilmore, and that's going to be 50 yards right there. McCluster gets the handoff right up the middle to end the first quarter. And gets about eight on the play. This Titans offense looks like they're on a roll now. As you see there, look at Harry Douglas in the highlights of the first quarter. All right, we're beginning this second quarter with a shotgun formation. Mariota drops back the pass over to the left side and just, oh my goodness, throws it up for Douglas and nowhere near it. It's going to be intercepted by the safety. A two tight end left set. It's formation up the middle is going to be LaShawn McCoy getting five yards. Just nickel and diamond this all down the field. Trips right set for EJ Manuel who gets to draw up the middle and finally taken down at a loss of two by Williamson. As you see here, he just read the play, went right up the middle and made the tackle. Third and seven. E.J. Manuel drops back and rolls to his left. Gets under pressure and finally throws it out of bounds. Elected not to take the second. After the punt, the Titans get it to the 23 with a rush of eight. Sankey again with a handoff trap right up the middle. That three technique on the guard is getting trapped a lot here. Play action on third and one. Drops back over to the right side. Almost caught off the deflection. And is just going to give up a fourth and one electing to punt. From the 35 is McCoy with the play action. Over to the left is going to be, looks like Watkins for his first reception. And he gets the screen for a first down. Speedy receiver. I formation up to the left side and not touched until five yards up. This offensive line is doing a great job for LaShawn McCoy making holes for him. 
with the blitz coming. E.J. Manuel stands in the pocket, throws over to the left, right side, excuse me, and has Clay sitting there waiting for the reception. Ace formation, tight end set right. Mashawn Coy in the backfield. And just a run. Powers through a tackle, but the tackle is enough to stop him for his teammates to come and finish it up. Power left formation. And LaShawn McCoy only gets two on the play. And on third and five, we got a bunch set up to the right side. And is he going to be stopped? It's going to be close. We got measurements out, and it's going to be fourth and one. From the 31, and it's going to make it about a 45-yard, or excuse me, a 35-yard kick, and the kick is up and good. So this Buffalo offense is going to take the lead, giving us a kickoff return from Wooten, from the end zone, up the middle, and finally taken down at about the 25. Trips left set. Marcus Mario with the play action and almost gets the ball off, but not in time against this defense. Nigel Bradham with the sack. Play action again. Same formation, and Mario just rolls, throws it right. Oh, my goodness. Did he try to throw that out of bounds and just didn't get far enough? Or was either overthrown to this receiver, underthrown out of bounds, but it's going to be intercepted at the 28-4 this Buffalo offense. After the first down is second and eight. The handoff left side hurdles over no one, but taken down after about a one-yard gain. Shotgun formation, and that's going to be another catch by Sammy Watkins, who's just sitting in the holes of the defense and getting the reception. Looks like a goal line stand and a pitch right side for LaShawn McCoy. It's taken down after a one-yard gain. Almost set that outside, but McCourtney is able to get off the block. I formation and up the left side. Not touched. Could have walked in the end zone. This is ridiculous plays by this offense, and this defense needs to step up. 2.25 left to go in the first half, and just a throw up for Delaney Walker not able to get it second and 10 drop at the pass again targeting Delaney Walker and again not getting them and it's going to be trips left shotgun formation third and 10 Delaney Walker once again targeted in a third times a charm same formation trips left and Marietta drops back and over the middle is a key mix getting it into the two minute warning Marietta drops back, setting up the screen left. Gets away from one defender, but Sankey is taken down after a three-yard gain. Third and eight. Drops back, throws to the right to Kendall Wright, who's open enough to get the first down. First and ten. Another screen set up right side, and again with the reception by Sankey. Darts in and finally taken down after an 11-yard gain. Spread offense, and we are going to throw it left side to Harry Douglas, who's going to get out of bounds at the 19-yard line, second in inches, with the handoff up the middle for Sankey, who's taken down immediately, but enough to get the first down. Marietta drops back, and over the middle is going to be Hakeem Nix, threading that needle and getting a first down. Second and goal looks like a blitz against this offense, and Marietta drops back, Throws left as he's hit and just not going to get a reception. Almost in the hands of Hakeem Nix. Three wide set over the right side. And Harry Douglas is going to take it into the end zone. The check down for a completion. And the into the end zone is going to be Harry Douglas. So that's going to give this Bills offense a little bit of chance. Maybe not. With 24 seconds left to go, E.J. Manuel is going to take off running like he did a lot at Florida State and finally taken down after a gain of 14. 16 seconds left to go in the first half. E.J. Manuel drops back over the middle for Woods, and Woods is going to take down at the 49. 10 seconds left. Trips right, or trips left, excuse me. And Woods is going to get another reception to about the 34. With five seconds left to go, Rex Ryan tries to bring out the kicking team 
to give them a six-point lead. A 41-yard attempt up, and it is good. My goodness, what have you been feeding this kicker? But with that being said, that is going to bring us to the first half end. All right, we are starting this second half with the ball for the Bills, who have a six-point lead, a man in motion, and a handoff for McCoy that was working well for them in the first half. And that is going to be taken out for a one-yard loss. This defense not giving up yet. Pistol formation, two tight ends set. Stretch right side and taken out hard is McCoy by McCourty, giving them a four-yard loss on the play. E.J. Manuel drops back, throws the left to Clay. Who's going to be taken down after a seven-yard gain. So, a fourth and 12, elect to take the field goal. Play action by Mariota, who gets it to Hakeem Nix, who gets the screen up to about the eight-yard line. Play action by Sankey. Mariota drops back right, throws the check down to, looks like Delaney Walker, who gets right up the middle, or right up the sideline, excuse me, for a 28-yard gain. Pitch right set, and... Just a demolishing block right there, giving that edge set for Sankey. Safety pulling down, second and five. Mariota's checking the play. Drops back the throw over to the right setup screen and perfect setup for that blitz. From the 25 to about the one yard line is a gain for this Titans offense. So weak formation, a handoff right up the middle for Craig Stevens, who gets it in for the touchdown, and given this Tennessee Titans a one-point lead is Ryan Suckup. Trips left formation, one wide receiver set right, and a handoff to LaShawn McCoy is taken down for a three-yard loss. For four straight rushes, we have LaShawn McCoy down for a loss. Play action by Manuel, who rolls left, just turns, throws right, and just almost, almost with the reception is Woods, who's wanting the flag and not able to make the interception off the bat is McCourty. So this offense comes out for the Tennessee Titans. And look at Delaney Walker not having any of it. He's getting that first down, pushing right through with the strength that he has. Not liking what he sees. Flips the play left side, and Sankey's going to go. Left, who breaks off a tackle from the 42 to the end zone. Touchdown, tight ends. Bishop Sankey just stiff arms one defender, and he was off to the races after that. Balanced pistol formation up the middle is going to be LaShawn McCoy, not touched until the 30. Ace formation this time. Manuel not liking what he sees, but the handoff and a... Tackle for a loss right off the edge is Brian Aratpo for a two-yard loss. Balance tight end set and up the middle. LaShawn McCoy gets it once again. Refusing to go down, but finally taken down after a nine-yard gain. Giving this a third and three. Crucial stop for this defense right here. And with the... <laughs> With the false start from the offensive line again, this both teams have offensive lines that are not being disciplined in their actions. So third and eight trips right, Manuel drops back, throws over to the right side and just overthrows the speedy receiver Woods. And finally, after the punt, Titans take it from the 35, a cutback by Sankey, and he's going to get five yards on the play. Third and five, Marietta drops back the pass over to the right side. Once again, looks like the same thing that happened in the touchdown with Harry Douglas. Just going to take the check down to get another first down. First and ten, a handoff up the middle and gains about five on the play. And this offense starting to nickel and dime on themselves with Bishop Sankey. Second and five. And the pitch out left for Sankey, who gets a block or two and gets it to about the 25. This time they're going to try their own set with the two tight end set right. Strong formation and a pitch out for McCluster this time, who gets away from a defender, tiptoeing down the sideline and gets to the nine yards. Same formation. 
Mariota is calling a check down, and it's going to be a play action by Mariota, who rockets it right side. Fasano, the third tight end on the depth chart, is going to get his first reception on the year. So with that being said, we are going into the fourth quarter, 31-16. Bills get this ball back, and by no means is this game over. Only a 15-point lead, a two-possession game, and Woods over the middle for a first down. First and 10. LaShawn McCoy sets right side. The drop back for Manuel, who just takes off running and finally taken down after about gain of three. McCourtney was ready to rip off his face as he was coming. But the blitz is picked up by this offensive line, but not held together in the interior. And taken down for a loss is Manuel, a loss of six. Third and 13, just a throw up and is going to be deflected by McCourty. And it's Sammy Watkins against Jason McCourty, and McCourty gets the win right there. The handoff left and cut back for a nine-yard gain is going to be Sankey. Balance formation, second and one. And this offense looks like they're just going to be grinding that ball down the ground and getting as much time off this clock as possible. Shotgun set, bunch right, pass. And Mariota's just not going to find anyone open. And we have a flag on the play as well after the sack. And let's see what it's going to be. Personal foul, face mask on the defense. Wow. Mario Williams is just not helping this team with that sack. We are going to get a break and get a first down. So let's move this chains in a bunch set right formation for the ace. And Marietta drops back and sacked again. Run after another. This time Hughes on the play. And we're not going to get a break with any face mask. Pistol formation. The counter left. Sankey up the left side and finally taken down. At the 33, a gain of 12. Third and six, trips right. Play action by Mariota. Mariota's scrambling and just over the middle, stops, throws, and a one-handed catch by Hakeem Nix. My goodness, what a catch. And that is going to bring up another first down. Safety coming down for the blitz. Mariota's wanting to adjust. The play action. Mariota drops left and just... Taken down by Hughes, or excuse me, this time by Gilmore, who's going to be waiting for him with the blitz. The drop back, rolls right, not seeing anyone open, just heaves it downfield, and coming across is Douglas for another reception, just bailing out his quarterback when he needs to with a 29-yard gain. Up the right side, back to the middle is going to be Sankey, Eclipses well over the 100-yard mark, and McCluster comes in to clean up for him. And a pitch out right, and finally McCluster taken out at the 10-yard line and looks to be about 40 yards on the ground for McCluster. Screen set up left side and not fooling anyone for a 5-yard loss is the Titans. 3rd and 12, man in motion to play action. And not able to get it off is Mariota, but that's going to bring out a 26-yard field goal attempt for Ryan Suckup. And about three minutes left to go in this game. We are trying to just run down that clock as much as possible. And the kick is up, and no good. My goodness, Ryan Suckup is not having a good year so far. Maybe need to invest in another kicker. E.J. Manuel drops back and rolls right. Flag on the play. Could be in the area of holding. Uh, Emmanuel took a hard hit right there for a gain of about five. But let's see here. Holding on the offense. And we are going to accept. There's nothing worse than bringing back a team who's down and needing to head backwards. Manuel drops back over to the right side for Woods, who's going to take it. Gets just a great yard after catch attempt. And it's going to be 13 yards on the play. Third and seven. Blitz. Manuel rolls out left and taken down before he could get to the marker at the 36. So in fourth and one, has to go for it. Eye formation. Tight end set right. 
And a handoff right out the middle for LaShawn McCoy, and they get it for a five-yard gain. First and ten. Manual drops back. Over to the right side for Sammy Watkins for a, it looks like a 13-yard gain. Manual drops back again. Rolls right, throws out, and gets his man Woods, who's able to get the reception as he's going out of bounds. Minute 36 left to go in the game, and, that, and Clay is going to get it over the middle for first down. Clock is running a hurry up offense from the seven across for Woods, and it's going to be at the one. Manuel again with a hurry up and a minute left in the game, in and out of the hands of Woods. Ace formation, drop back, and just a heave for the end zone, and nothing doing. The fade was perfectly defended by Huff. Bounce formation and handoff this time for LaShawn McCoy. So on, from the one-yard line, this defense is able to make it stand. Just trying to get out of the end zone and then look to kneel the ball. So from the one, we get to about the four-yard line. And the first timeout taken, pitch left. And look at Sankey, who's able to get a 12-yard gain. And that's probably going to do it for this offense from the 48 counterbalance right and it's going to be about a four yard gain and that is going to bring out eighth formation second and six just trying to get away from uh, from this end zone and grind a little bit of time off the clock as much as possible so from the 33 still a little bit more time weak formation Marietta drops back the pass and over the middle to Sankey to ensure this game in the victory formation at the three second mark and that is going to be it your Tennessee Titans for the victory over the Buffalo Bills a tough fought match for both teams great running ability for both teams as well as passing for this Tennessee Titans as you see there both coaches are on the field hugging it out great job by both teams actually no one should be disappointed but the Titans just came out from that second half with more fired, more ability coming out. And it's going to be 31 16 Tennessee Titans. Let's take a look at the highlights of the game and we'll see you at the player stats. All right, we're here with the player stats of the day. 25 of 34 for 340 yards is Mariota. Two touchdowns and two interceptions and a long of 49. E.J. Manuel only 178 yards and LaShawn McCoy held to 70. But Bishop Sankey, 22 for 149, a 6.7 yard average, one touchdown. McCluster is 5 for 34 with a 6.8 yard average. We need to get him more in the mix as well. Mariota, 2 for 3. A couple of sacks on the day. And Craig Stevens had that 1 yard rush for a touchdown at the goal line. Let's take a look at receptions. We have Bishop Sankey and Delaney Walker both with 6. And also, my goodness, Harry Douglas, he got in on the action as well. 88 yards, 80 yards, and 102 yards respective. And Harry Douglas with one touchdown reception. Hakeem Nix, four for 45. Kendall Wright, two of 16. That's that's kind of quiet day for Kendall Wright here lately. But Anthony Fasano coming in with a one catch, nine yards, one touchdown. As you see here. We gave up a couple of sacks. One, two, three, four, five sacks on the day. And we got to get better at this pass, and blo pass block. 
Avery Williamson leading the team with 11 tackles. Denoris Cersei here with 10. Huff with 8. And Morgan and McCourtney capping the top 5 off with 7 tackles for a loss. We have Williamson with 3. McCourtney with 2. Aratpo, Woods, Huff, all with 1. And Gerald Casey and Derek Morgan are going to share the sack each. No interceptions on the day. No fumbles on the day. A couple pass deflections. But other than that, a somewhat uneventful day uh, for this defense. Just making plays when they need it. Suck up missed one field goal from the, I believe it was the 40, I think it was a 36-yard field goal that he missed. But with that being said, guys, we're going to take this out. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was week five of the action. Check us out next week when we play the Dolphins home in Nashville, Tennessee. But again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Comment if you want to subscribe if you haven't. Check in the description below for the playlist of the Tennessee Titan franchise, as well as my channel and my Twitter. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll catch you next time.